Well, music fans are mourning the loss of singer Meatloaf. His wife announced his death overnight on his official Facebook page. He was 74 years old. Meatloaf is best known for 1977's Paradise by the Dashboard Light, as well as his single, I'll Do Anything, or excuse me, I'd Do Anything for Love from 1993. Local music journalist Wayne Bledsoe talks about his influence on music and his most celebrated album. Well, Todd Rundgren produced Bat Out of Hell, and um, everybody thinks Jim Steinman did. Jim Steinman had the concept. He was the, the writer on all the songs, and he had the ideas for this big operatic thing, but it was Todd Rundgren who actually produced the album, and you can hear his signatures all over it, you know, with layered vocals, and some of the ways that he records guitars and things. That's all Todd Rundgren. But, uh, you know, Todd said it was a, a good experience. And of course he made so much money off of it because producers get points off albums, but uh, he sold his points on that album and bought a house in Hawaii. <laughs> well, the thing about Meatloaf is, is he came out at a time that it, he was incongruous with anything else going on. It was, it was the beginning of the punk era. It was the waning days of the disco era and you know big bombastic rock things were kind of over with and his was bigger than everybody's and celebrated being a you know a hormone fueled teenager better than anything else probably had come out before it and a lot of critics turned their noses up at it and it was brilliant i mean i i was a huge fan from the first time i heard it I, there was nothing else like it and uh, and then mtv picked up on it when mtv came along but you know, FM radio and, and uh, people who weren't snobs, man, they got it. And it became a huge album and it stayed a huge album. I mean, it was one of the biggest selling albums of all time. And it was great. And, uh, you know, I never understood how people could be so snobby that they didn't love it. And Meatloaf was scheduled to appear at this year's Fanboy Expo in Knoxville. Today they shared this photo saying they are heartbroken to hear of his passing and they were looking forward to rocking out with him.